what I have here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is my harp. Hear how different it sounds? As you can see, lots of strings. In fact, if you counted all the strings on this harp, you would count 36 of them. Yeah, 36. You see how I did that. And uh, what's fun about playing a harp is that it makes a beautiful, warm, tell you one more story. You think you can listen to one more story and I'll tell it to you with my heart? All right. This story is about people, even though it's called the wind and the sun. It's really a short story. sky one day, the wind looked over at the sun shining there in the sky, and for some reason the wind said, I'm stronger than you are. The sun looked back and said, oh, I'm not sure about that. And the wind said, well, then let's have a contest and I'll prove it. Well, the sun agreed to the contest. And so the two of them looked down far below on earth. There walking along a country road, dressed in a heavy winter coat, was a man. And the wind saw the man down there. And the wind said, do you see the traveler in his coat down there? Whichever one of us can make him take off that coat first, he'll be the stronger of the two of us. Do you agree to this contest? Well, the sun had no choice but to agree, but the wind wanted to go first. I don't know how many of you can take a deep breath, but get ready to take a really deep breath. Because just like the wind, I want you to blow some wind with me. And hit. so the wind took a first mighty breath and... And suddenly, leaves were flying past the man down on the earth. And the air grew cold. And so he did up the top button of his coat. But he wouldn't take it off. Well, the wind saw that and took a second even mightier breath. And the man grew so cold, he started to beat his arms against his body to try to warm up, but he wouldn't take off his coat. Well, the wind tried one last time, and you can take the biggest breath ever and... And the man was so cold, he jumped behind a tree. And he curled into a little ball. But he would not take off his coat. Well, it came the sun's turn to try.
trying to show strength and the sun thawed a moment and then just decided to shine. And so the sun shone warm, gentle light down on the man there behind the tree. You know, the man realized that the day around him had grown beautiful. The air grew warm, the sun was bright. He stood up, he walked out from behind the tree. It was warm. And so all by himself, he unbuttoned his coat. He took it off and he threw it over his shoulder and very happily, the man walked home. Now this is a story called an Aesop's Fable. And Aesop's Fables always have what's called a moral. For the sun had won the contest of strength. And the moral is simple. If you're in a disagreement with anybody about anything, It's usually a little bit of kindness that will do more to solve that disagreement than just about anything else in the world. Well, those are my two stories for you this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed them. It's been fun to visit with you. And I hope to see you another day someday. So have a good rest of your day. <laughs>